Hello everyone. Pretty interesting high mod strike for you here, showing high mods hitting something rare and new. This shows a torn MBM electronic warfare system getting hit. You can see that a shark UAV is used here by Ukraine to observe the torn as it's parked near some buildings and partially hidden in the trees. We then see that a high mod strike is called in, destroying the torn with one round, a very accurate strike as we always see with high mars. These are very valuable vehicles and major targets for Ukraine. Now, we're not jammers, so we can't really mock the system for failing to jam the HIMARS. I'll have a look at what exactly the Torn is, and then we'll go through the geolocation. So, here's an image of a Torn. It's an electronic warfare complex mounted on a truck. These entered service shortly before the war. These aren't your bog standard jammer or electronic countermeasures vehicle. These are actually used to detect cell phone signals. Russia uses them to detect large groups of Ukrainian soldiers by detecting the phone signals and then launching artillery or rocket strikes on the positions. So you can see these are much more dangerous than the bog standard jammer and can be used offensively. This isn't the first one destroyed. Ukraine captured one that was damaged in 2022, shown here, which was no doubt sent to the boffins to poke and prod in their labs and find out how it ticks. Well, this is actually the first one destroyed since then. So, these are exceedingly rare and have just got rarer. It isn't known how many of these Russia actually has, but numbers are likely low. And since there isn't much information about them, it isn't known how successful they actually are at detecting cell phone sig signals. But on paper at least, they are quite dangerous. I'll have a look at the range of them in just a moment. First, here's a geolocation done by Blinsk on Twitter. The torn system hidden in the trees near this house. If we zoom out, we can see this is in a settlement called Dubikov, which is in Kherson district. So this system has a max range of 30 kilometers or 70 kilometers, depending on what, which type of detection is used, either very high frequency or high frequency. Very high frequency is 30 kilometers, high frequency 70 kilometers. And that range is roughly shown here, the 70 kilometer max one. So you can see it can detect phone signals in large areas of Kherson. Quite a dangerous vehicle here, which Russia would have used to impact gatherings of Ukrainian soldiers and that sort of thing if detected. So this is a major, major vehicle lost for Russia and a very important strike by Ukraine. Much more important than it first seemed like with a bog standard electronic warfare vehicle. These are major targets. So that's it for this video. Hope you found this short one interesting. Now before I finish, I'm going to play a video message from Sanaf about the ongoing fundraiser that he's doing. Big thanks to everybody who's helped out so far. Thanks so much for watching and take care everybody. Hello Sukumimers community, my name is Sanaf. Uh, I'm a volunteer that's been helping the Ukrainian military uh, for the past two and a half years. Uh, I live in Ukraine and have been here for about 10 years. Uh, at the start of the war, my good friend Yuri, who was my gym instructor, went to join the military and I stayed on to, to help support these guys. We've done lots of work along the way, uh, so thank you for everyone who supported us. Uh, we currently have a fundraiser ongoing for uh, an armoured vehicle. Uh, cyclist uh, for an armoured vehicle. It, it's going really well. We've raised nearly £10,000. We have got £15,000 to go. The vehicle has already been purchased uh, and is now at the garage. It's having a BMW engine installed and then it will be taken to Ukraine to have the ceramic and Kev Kevlar uh, armor, armaments installed. So with your continued support we'll be able to uh, bring this project to a successful conclusion. Thank you very much.